that uh, they got a call from the coach. He said he was running before school started on his morning route. Came across a dead body, burnt to a crisp, and that's all the details he gave. He seemed pretty, they said he seemed worried about it. Remember about three months back, Robertson Edwards, they got a call kind of, kind of similar, another body that was burnt up like that. Real bad. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, we're behind the landfill. Yeah. Oh, I wonder if the two are connected. Nothing strange. Well, they, that's still open, isn't it? That's yeah. a cold case. Yeah, they still haven't solved that one yet. Um, maybe we can find something to we'll talk to them after. Yeah. Actually, let me uh, I'll text Edwards right now. This is Detective Lee. I'm Detective Lang. Hi, my name's uh, Alan Downey. How you doing? You want to tell us what you were doing out here? Well, I'm just a high school tri coach down the down the street, and I was on my morning jog and came across this body. A dead body, huh? Kind of convenient, don't you think? No, this is a peaceful neighborhood. Something like this doesn't happen around here. Yeah? You didn't uh, harm the body or anything, did you? No, not at all, sir. Just called you guys right away. All right. Well, sorry for the delay. We appreciate your patience. Go take a closer look. Hey, Lee, you want to come over and get a look at this? Jeez. Never get used to this smell, Lee. She did. Sure is. Dr. V? check on that for you. Uh, it looks like everything's normal. There's slight traces of scopolamine though. Scopolamine? What the hell is that? Uh, I wouldn't worry too much about it. It's just a drug that uh, they put in nausea medication, some motion sickness medicine. So I wouldn't pay too much attention to it. Alright, so nothing wacky going on with that? Nothing unusual. Alright, another dead end. Alright, thanks doc. Sorry about that. Get it, man. Like, why would why would somebody just burn a girl up like that? Well, what did the toxicology say? I said everything was normal, just like traces of scopamine, but that's just used for emotion sickness. Scolopamine? Yeah, scolopamine, that's it. Well, when I got the text back from Edwards about the prior burn vic, they had scolopamine in their system. Seems kind of weird, man. Like, a, let me cut up real quick. See what that stuff is. What's the adverse effects of the substance of scolopamine? What is it even used for? Doc was right. It's used for motion sickness, but it says here in uh, high doses it cause hallucinations, uh, anesthesia. It could even it's used in Colombia for like mind control, but like witch doctors or something. Here you go. That's your connection. Could be foul play involved. Man, we must have missed something. We need to look at that crime scene again. All right, bro. I'm going to head back to that crime scene. Make sure we didn't miss anything. All what right. What you going to do? I'm going to head over to the lab, see if I catch Doc, which leaves for the night, you know? And then I'll head back out there, and I'll catch up with you, all right? Yeah, Be careful good. out there, man. I don't like the way this thing feels. Me neither, man. You do the same. Doc. Doc, you here? Ingested a little bit of it. Sometimes that's all you need.
Lang, Lang, you out here? Doc, what are you doing here? No, wait, wait! <laughs>